Okay, I had my placement at North Point Elementary in Miss West's kindergarten class. Um, and the technology we used, there was a smart board in the front of the class she did a lot of instruction on. Um, mostly big group direct instruction and there was a big carpet in front of it that all the kids would come and sit at. Um, and for the smart board she had a document camera to the side of it that um, she could use like small manipulatives and like if they were doing a small activity or a coloring or worksheet she would show that on the document camera so kids could have an idea of what they were doing and see it on the smart board. Um, a lot of good modeling so that they weren't confused when they went back to the tables to do the activity. And they also had iPads available for each grade. They didn't use them a lot, um, especially because it was kindergarten. Um, but they did use it one time for a math lesson where they compared like grade than and less than numbers, and that was a really cool activity. And then they also um, had a lot of YouTube videos in the class. Miss West um, had Friday dance parties, which was a really fun way for kids to um, see the video on the screen and then be able to interact and dance around with it and have a good time. Um, for learning strategies, she used um, a leader for the day. They called it a panther um, of the day, as panther is like the mascot of the school. And that was a fun way for kids to um, really be like the leader of the class and help out with calendar and like fun activities they did throughout the day. Um, and then she had a lot of cool responses like ready to rock, and then they would spawn ready to roll, um, a fun way to get everyone engaged and like on task. Um, and then they did calendar each morning, which was and they would come in just going over like the days of the week, the seasons, the number of the day. Um, each, and it was consistent every day, just a thing um, they could all like look forward to and um, just get plugged in and involved with every day. And then she did a lot of one-on-one -on -one independent reading, um, reading like small words or phrases or sentences just to help them practice their reading like one-on-one -on -one so that they, she could um, change for each student like what they were focusing on and what they were learning and help them grow in that aspect. And then they had math tubs, um, like a plastic box full of different um, math activities to do, usually like for a specific season or holiday and working on the counting or sequencing, ordering numbers, um, separating numbers, that kind of thing that they could like spread out all the room and just a fun way to um, start out the day and learn the math skills that they were um, needing to learn. And then she also used a lot of whiteboards to engage students in like different activities and doing like small group instruction um, or one-on-one -on -one, like reading, having kids like write out words and it was a fun way for get, to get them like engaged and interacted with the activity and they loved it. And then she also used a lot of small groups to um, separate people or separate kids who were um, struggling with one thing or focusing on a different thing than the rest of the group or rest of the class. And then management strategies, um, she mainly used a lot of positive reinforcement. They didn't have like a clip system or anything, um, but it worked really well in just reinforcing like um, good behavior to the students, worked really well. Um, and then a lot of proximity, she would stand really close to a kid if they were acting out or tapping them on the shoulder and they would recognize um, they needed to behave. And then a lot of one-on-one -on -one discussion if a student was acting out or misbehaving, bring them to the side and like saying, hey, this is what you're doing wrong, this is what you need to um, do better, and it usually worked really well. Or um, choral responses, like I said, for the whole class to get them on task and focused um, if they were talking or um, misbehaving, that worked really well. Um, and then she would also, if they were like working in the back of the classroom in their tables and there was an argument or something was happening, um, she would pull one kid aside to work at a separate table um, just to get them out of the environment, out of the situation. And this worked really well because um, it wasn't also, it wasn't always used as a punishment. Like sometimes being working at a separate table was a reward. Um, and so it wasn't like a terrible thing that they got pulled out aside. It was just removing them from the situation so that they could all go on and continue learning. And then um, they had a teacher assistant in the class and sometimes she would come around and like sit beside a kid who was um, acting out or help work with a kid who was really struggling and causing other students to struggle with work. And then they had a big um, emphasis on classroom connectedness and like school connectedness, school environment, um, a lot of school pride, like this is what North Point expects, this is what Miss West classroom rules are, um, and just following and obeying those rules and reemphasizing that in like the one-on-one -on -one discussions or um, 
through like a positive reinforcement, like, good, you're behaving how like students at North Point behave, you're behaving like a really good kindergartner, you're ready to go into first grade, that kind of thing, um, worked really well. And diversity in the classroom, um, they had a lot of different types of diversity, a lot of um, different races and also different academic diversity. Um, they had a lot of, yeah, a lot of races and we had one Hispanic student um, who was also an ESL student. She got pulled out to work on like her speech and I got to work with her a lot. And she progressed really well. Um, she didn't speak any Spanish or any English at home um, and so was, she was also learning have to learning everything in like English as she was progressing academically and she did really well. Um, and so the teacher did a great job in keeping my classroom um, celebrating diversity in the classroom and one activity she did I really liked was having the students bring in pictures of their families um, and then having them like explain like this is my mom, this is my, um, whether it was my grandparents or like this is my dad, he's deployed, that kind of thing just to um, help students understand oh like families look different um, and they're diverse in that way but we're all the same in this classroom and we all can get along um, in the classroom but like different people's families look differently. So that was a really cool way to celebrate diversity. And then again, there was also a lot of academic diversity, students who were just barely learning how to read, students to students who are already learning or know how to read like books almost and um, are progressing really well like in math and other students who are struggling really hard. Um, so just lots of different academic diversity, but they still were expected to do the same things and expected to have the same behavior. And this is the class I worked with. Um, on the right here is Miss West's kindergarten class. They had, um, it was Polar Express Day and they got to wear their pajamas. So they're really cute and I absolutely loved working with them. They were all absolutely wonderful. They were precious. And then this is um, the kindergarten classroom performance they had, or Christmas performance. And they all wore their pajamas and like sang a few songs um, for Christmas and it was really sweet. And so. I love this placement and it was absolutely wonderful.